This week in DCU, the annual Clubs and Societies Fair was in full swing on both the Glasnevin and St. Patrick's campus. This fair gives new and returning students the chance to join different clubs and societies that they can excel in or maybe take part in something completely out of their comfort zone. Um, I joined RAG. Was it? Yeah, we both joined RAG. Yeah, and Health and Science. Yeah, yeah. as well, just because we do both doing genetics. Yeah, I've joined three sites at the moment, so obviously ESOC, a and and then I joined the Weightlifting Society as well. Great, and yourself? I joined the Aviation Society, I joined uh, an actor, I think? And ESOC, obviously. I spoke to Catherine Kane, the Society's Officer for DCU, to see what her plans for the coming academic year are. So our main aim this year on the like SLC CLC situation is mainly to bring up engagement for first years. So like first year reps in societies at the moment to like make sure that they know each other, know their role in societies and give them an opportunity to kind of shadow all the other committee members. Um, like what I love to see is like first years coming up and then being first year rep and then being chair the next year because they loved it so much, which is a huge thing. New societies have emerged this year, such as the Scoliosis Society and STAND, a society stemming from the already popular SUAS. DCU President Brian McGrath called down to the clubs in Soxford to see what his students are doing outside their academic lives. I come to clubs in Soxford every year. It's always fantastic because it sends what students are interested in what they're doing. There's a huge buzz all over us. Peter was telling me we've close to 100 societies this year. It's going to bring us over 150 clubs in Soxford. And I see there's a whole pile of new ones. And they won't let me join up, which is really annoying. DCU's engagement with clubs and societies is what makes our college unique. Whether it's having tea and chats with a hangover hub for the sober sock or going surfing on the weekends, they have something for everyone. Alison Clare, DCU TV News.